guys, I'm down at the light box, which is right across the street here. I will show you. <coughs> so this is it. This is like a heavy duty, um, serious cinephile place. A lot of TIFF screenings are shown here and a lot of like art films, more independent stuff is shown here. It's like serious stuff. So anyway, I'm going to head over. I'll show you inside. It's really cool. Okay, so here I am. I think they've already gone in. Yay. So, give you a little look here. It's pretty impressive. There's all the hot dog stuff. This movie, I wanted to see this at TIFF last year, but I couldn't get tickets. It looks really, really good. So anyway, here we are. Okay, so here's the typical film festival lineup. I am extremely, extremely honored to be here in this wonderful theater and uh, to see our, my, our film to be shown in what I consider to be the best film festival in the world. <laughs> I don't want to steal too much time from you, I just uh, uh, ask you to join us uh, to plunge into this uh, Roman microcosmos and mm -hmm. after the screening, if there will be any questions, I will be more than happy to answer to your questions. Uh, thank you. Hi guys. Okay, so here is my first review of Hot Docs 2014. Please, I gotta say ahead of time, excuse me, because I am so, so tired right now. I was up at like 6 this morning, and then I, uh, I attended like a three hour workshop this morning, and then I had to go down there, and then I was waiting, and then I was waiting in line. Oh, God. You know, one thing about these film festivals that really, really pisses me off is when movies don't start on time. And that's what happened today. I was standing in line for like a good 40 minutes, okay? So the movie started at least 15 minutes late. You know, then they do the intro, which wasn't long in this case. It was only, you know, two or three minutes, five minutes, whatever it was. But still, you know, like, it just really throws everything off. And I was tired as it was. And I'm standing there, and, oh, my God, like, fucking let us in already. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so, the movie I saw today was called Sacro Gras. It's an Italian movie, Italian documentary. Uh, director is Gian Gianfranco Rossi. And, um, yeah, okay, so this, this movie was, uh, billed as, it's about the ring road that runs around the city of Rome. It's called the Gra, I guess, the GRA, or something like that, I don't know what it's called. Um, Great Ring, whatever, Great Ring Road, and it runs around the city. And, um, you know, the description of the movie sounded really good, you know, well, first of all, I'm like, you know, I'm dying to go to Europe. Um, I would love to go all over Europe, and Rome would definitely be one of my dream destinations if I were to ever get over there. Um, so that was really the main reason I wanted to see this movie, because I wanted to see Rome. Well, you didn't really see that much of Rome. Um, it was actually, to be completely honest with you, I found this movie extremely boring. I ended up leaving early, first of all, because I knew a ride was waiting for me, and like I said, the movie started late, so... Um, you know, somebody's waiting for me, and I'm like, you know, I'm not going to sit here and make them wait and wait and wait. Didn't know when the movie was going to end. And plus, it was just really, really boring. I found it extremely boring. Now, I don't know whether that was because I was already overtired from, you know, this morning and everything. But really, the movie was not that interesting. Um, there were a few recurring characters in the movie. It starts off with this ambulance driver. He was one of the guys who was in it. Uh, then there was an eel fisherman who was like, you know, um, rowing this little boat around, I guess, the river there and catching eels. Uh, a couple of aging whores who seem to live in this van or something like that. They're parked in this van and they're drinking beer and eating cheese. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then, 
there was like these people in this apartment building with this really, really boring guy who kept going on and on about all this stuff that, you know, just, oh, did you hear, do you remember, you know, back in 1952 when this and this, and, you know, he's just going on and on about all this stuff, and I'm like, oh, this is really, really dull. Um... I didn't really feel, I mean, if that's Rome, if the, if these people are the representatives of Rome, um, it can't be too exciting a city. The, the only guy who I found really interesting was the ambulance driver guy, and that's because he was kind of cute. Um, but, you know, really, um, I'm sorry. I mean, some of, some of the shots, you know, like, there were some great overhead shots of, like, you know, like, where, you know, wide shots of, like, overhead where you see, like, the road and then you see the, the landscape. I remember this one particular shot that was really cool was there was this, like, flock of sheep on this hill, <clears throat> and then you see, like, this, you know, this big road and the huge city in the distance, and, you know, I was expecting to see the Vatican, I was expecting to see, um, you know, the Trevi Fountain, I was expecting to see, you know, all the, all the things that you commonly associate with Rome, you know, but it was more not so, not, not about at least what I saw of it, and I, and I left pretty much towards the end, I stayed for most of it, I'm sure, it was like a 90 minute movie, and I was there for a good hour at least. So I couldn't have missed that much. And the movie focused on more the outskirts of Rome, not the inner city, which is what I really wanted to see. <clears throat> you know, I mean, I knew it was going to be about the stuff around the city, but I was, you know, thinking, hey, like, I want to see some of the sights here, you know? And there really wasn't. It was more just about kind of the people who live on the edges. Uh, yeah, there was this other guy who was kind of interesting. I liked him as well, uh, i got to say. I forgot about him. <clears throat> he was kind of like this nobleman, this, like, um... I guess one of these, like, these guys with a title, and he had this, like, huge villa. Uh, it was beautiful, gorgeous villa. And he was, like, some kind of noble or something. He came from some rich, noble family. And he was contemplating moving to Lithuania. I don't know how I absorbed all this, because I was so tired. But anyway, I got that. And, um, yeah, and this guy, like, he was renting out his villa to these people who were making a, a, a photo novel, which I've never heard of, a photo novel. You know, oh, and there was another guy who um, was like a botanist, and he was like drilling holes in these palm trees and sticking this like gadget in there to um, to uh, record the sounds of like larva and stuff. It sounds really, really gross, uh, but it was kind of interesting at the same time. Like I never even knew you could do that. You know, this guy was like sticking these like you know things in this tree and listening, and he's oh, well, like there's, there's, there's larva in there, and then. Um, and then he was, like, saying, well, there's adults in there, too, and I don't know how he could figure this out. But anyway, I guess this guy was, like, you know, looking after these trees and, and you know, finding out about all this stuff. And so it was, like, you know, moderately interesting, I guess, but, you know, I was just, I couldn't take it. I couldn't handle it anymore. I was, like, after an hour of this, I was, like, okay, enough. You know, I, I've given this a good, a good shot here. This has not really captured my attention very much, and um, that was it. So, uh, would I recommend this movie? No, I doubt very much you're going to see it anyway. I mean, unless you see it maybe like in a video store or something like that, you're not going to see it on Netflix or anything like that, I'm sure. You know, I mean, wasn't a, it wasn't a bad movie. I'm not going to trash it, you know. It was just, I found it very boring. And I think from now on, see, this, this has taught me a lesson. And I should have learned this in, in the last Hot Docs because... The last Hot Dogs, I went to see this extremely, extremely boring movie that was about, I forget what it was called, but I reviewed it last year. Um, it was like an environmental type movie about climate change and stuff like that. And it sounded really interesting in the description, but then when, oh my God, it was so, so dull. Like, I mean, all these like, you know, super academic intellectuals going on and on about all this minutia, you know, like all this like technical stuff. And I'm like, oh, it was just, oh, I hated that movie. That was the name of it. Uh, I'll put it up here in the um, in the information in case you want to go check it out, which I don't know if you... Because I gave it a terrible review, I'm pretty sure. But, um, yeah, it was like... I'm going to try to stay away from these, like, conceptual-type movies, you know, and stick more with kind of like the true crime and the biographies. Because those are ones that are really, really interesting. Uh, when you get more into things that are sort of like about abstract concepts, like, you know, the, okay, this is a study of the city of Rome and, you know, climate change, it start, you, you know, you're kind of taking your chances there because 
mo very often I found out they turn out to be incredibly boring, and this is a perfect example of that. You know, it sounded really good in the in the book, and then you know you get there and you're sitting there and going, oh my god, like when's this going to be over, really? Um, so I cannot give this one a good review, unfortunately. I'm not going to say it was a horrible, trashy movie because it was, you know, it was well made. It was a quality film, uh, but it just did not interest me. It did not capture my interest as I thought it would. So I'm going to give this one a uh, thumbs down. So tomorrow I'm going to be seeing uh, a movie called The Way of All Flesh, which that should be very interesting. Although it's a short film, I can't figure out why it's so short. It's only like 54 minutes, and it's about like this extremely, extremely heavy topic. It's about um, this woman named Henrietta Lacks who apparently had <clears throat> perfect cells for cancer testing or something like that, and they were used in cancer research, and her cells to this day are still alive, and they're still being used uh, in research and stuff like that. So it sounds like a really, really fascinating uh, story. So I'm sure that's going to be good. Um, I'll go out on a limb and say that ahead of time, uh, but as you know, I will review it, and you will see it up here tomorrow. That's the only one I'm seeing tomorrow. So anyway, yeah, that is my review of Sacro Gras. Like I said, I'm sorry. See, that's how tired I am. I hit the space bar and stopped recording. Anyway, sorry if this came off kind of half-assed or whatever, but I'm just, I'm really, really tired, you guys. I need to just take a break and take it easy. So <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.